tenant referencing is not just a box ticking exercise. It's not something you've just got to get done. It's serious and it's got to be taken seriously. And there's a big difference between referencing and vetting. They're two different things, but they both have to be done. So here are three things that you've got to do in order to make sure that you've got a good chance of getting a good tenant who's going to pay the rent, look after the property and be a good tenant. First of all, to explain the difference between referencing and vetting. It's quite simple, but a lot of the times it's missed by self-managing DIY landlords. Referencing, in a nutshell, is the process of obtaining historic data about the tenant, i.e. you're gonna get a landlord reference where the landlord would say, did they pay the rent on time? Did they look after the property? Was there any problems? That sort of thing. And employment references are the same thing. Are they an employee of your company? Is there any problems? And so on and so forth. You're obtaining data about the tenant's history of reliability. So that's the reference part, which is the exercise of obtaining historic data about the tenant and the tenant's reliability. And then vetting is the analysis of that data and the collection of further data to make sure that they can afford the rent. Because it's all good and well saying, yep, they've got a good job, yet they're full-time employed, yet their landlord reference is in. But how much do they earn? What's their credit score like? Are they bankrupt? Do they have an IVA? Have they missed loads of payments on all of their credit? Have they got CCJs, defaults? Have they got a really low credit rating? Are they high risk? So referencing is when you're getting other people, landlords, employers, to give you historic information about that tenant. And then vetting is you checking that information and adding more detail to it, such as the actual numbers of their income, the actual credit scoring, and things like that. And you've got to do both of those things in order to make sure that you've got a good chance of getting a good tenant. If you just get through those things and just skip past those things, then you're increasing your risk of having a bad tenant. But also, these processes enable you to increase your chances of avoiding tenant fraud, which is on the increase. There are more and more tenants exploiting and manipulating the system, committing fraud, falsifying information, falsifying documents with DIY self-managing landlords. And they find you, they look for you, because they know that you're not carrying out the process properly and in detail so they find you and even if you're a DIY landlord self-managing landlord that thinks that you're doing it all unless you're using a professional credit referencing agency then you're probably missing stuff you're probably easy to fool and easy to manipulate and exploit and I'm sorry to say that DIY self-managing landlords, but it's true. So you must take referencing and vetting and credit scoring seriously and check every single part of it. But lastly, I wanna say, finish with an interview with the tenant because this tenant is gonna move into your property and that's probably your most valuable asset. It's certainly gonna be your most valuable investment. So check every single part of it. Do not miss any parts just because they're difficult to get. If the tenant can't provide you with employment references or landlord references, be very, very wary. If the tenant's credit scoring is poor, be very, very wary. And in all instances where there are some discrepancies, even if it's small discrepancies, try and get a guarantor. Because that adds your security and it gives you a bit of a, a cushion. If that tenant does move into the property and can't pay the rent, then at least you've got a guarantor in place that can cover that rent. And that's the reason a guarantor is in place. So hopefully that helps. And remember, if you need some help, I can put you in touch with a credit referencing agency, or you can just get my company to do it for you. And just the tenant referencing, the vetting, my company can do it for you if you need it. You can just contact me, tom at sonegroup.co.uk. Just let me know. I'll just connect you up with my team and they'll do the referencing for you. Anyway, hope that helps.